Welcome back. And welcome back to another recap video. NXT TakeOver 25. Yes. This pit. Okay, I, I thought this was pretty good. What did you thought? I don't know, I forgot. Oh. Yeah, it was Saturday, and then you we were busy for the rest of the night. And then Sunday, we were too busy to do anything. Clean up the house and all that stuff. And now we do it now. But Good I thing remember. you got, at least you wrote it down on paper. I remember. Not everything word for word. But to kick off to, uh, TakeOver was Roderick Strong versus Matt Riddle Bro. So you got Bro versus Roderick Strong. Um, I, I pretty much wrote the... Highlight, highlight of the matches. He kicked off his slippers. There you go. There's the highlight. There you go. <laughs> no, he always does that. Um. Uh, Matt Riddle, he did, okay, there was a moment he did, uh, like, he did, like, a go to sleep and then it went into a German suplex bridge. So he tried to pin that, but Roger kicked out of that. Then, um, Roger Trump did an insecurity to Riddle in the corner. And then slammed to the mat, but Matt Riddle kicked out of that. And then New York Strange punches, and uh, jumper knee strike, constant punches to the face from the rope, slam on the mat, and but kicked out by Matt Riddle. Then Matt did his, f I think it, he said final flex, and it kicked out. But, the rope, then Roderick did a, like a power slam kick out, Matt Riddle, and then he got him into like this bro mission, I'm pretty sure that's what they said, the bro mission, and then elbow strike, he's like hitting elbow strike, and then, and then he did some, I mean he couldn't hear what he said, he said bro something. It almost looked like a tombstone looking thing. He said bro something, but I couldn't hear the commentary when he said what the move was called. But it's bro something. He did that for the win. Alright, there you go. One, two, three. Matt Riddle's the winner. So, but that was that. Now, the next match was for the vacant NFC Tag Team titles. It was a ladder match. It was... Danny Bridge and Orly Larkin. Forgot two of the three Forgotten Sons. Undisputed Era. Which was Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. And the Street Profits. Which, we knew it. We knew it. The Street Profits won. So now they get to face the Viking Raiders? No. They're the titles. They're the champions. Oh, wait. You mean the Viking Raiders, like... They, they... relinquished their uh, championship. When? Um, uh... I thought they said that they were going to fight for the titles. That's why we had them fight under, uh, I mean, the Street Profits. I don't know, maybe they just want to go to the Monday Night Raw already. No. So now Street Profits are the champions. I don't know. It, it was a pretty good match. There was too much details in that. to remember every single thing. That was that. And then you have for the North, the NXT North American Championship, you got Velvet Team Dream. Versus Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze. The original NXT. Mm -hmm. um, I, was, I knew it. I knew Velveteen Dream wasn't going to lose. because. It was, but it was a good match. Especially was, when Dream kept using um, the selfie stick. Yeah, he kept taking be, selfies. Yeah, it's like taking selfies. Uh -huh. it, was, it, was a good, it, was, it was a good match. Um, I knew... Tyler was a good one just because he just he just came back, so they ain't gonna let Dream lose it already to him. But so. they did do a uh, friendly selfie in the end. Yeah, at the end, Breeze stops and he asks for a selfie, and they had one. So mm -hmm. now it's the women's championship. Io Shirai and Shayna Baszler. Oh, uh, I mean, Shanna Baszler won. She she didn't really cheat. She won. She won. She made Io e e tap out. She asked her a sleeper hold. But, but it was going to go either way. The way how they were fighting, yeah, they, they were pinning and submitting. I, 
EO did things for like Rim Stereo because Ray's her favorite. She, she did, did a, a 619. Yep. Um, but Shannon's buddies tried to get involved, but Candace was there. But EO attacked Shayna ba uh, Baszler with the, um, the kendo stick. Well, that was, yeah, that was after the match. She was so frustrated and she was attacking with Yeah, because Shayna attacked uh, Kari Shane before. So she needed to get payback for her best friend. Even though she lost, she still was like, No, you don't walk away. And then the two henchwomen show up. Yep. And then, um, um, Candace, she's telling Candace to get the chair after doing the moonsault once, and then she's telling her to get the chair, and she does the moonsault off the top rope with the chair. So. Ow, you hit me with the pen. <laughs> Alright, the, the main, main event. event. Adam Cole, bye bye. <laughs> or Missy says, gay gay. And Johnny Champion. Yep. I was hoping. Uh, Johnny Gargano's not champion no more. And Cole won. That, well, let's see. During the middle of the match, or towards the end, we see Adam Cole start pointing to the ring ramp, and we're thinking, um, the the other Undisputed Arrow is going to show up. No. Oh, he won, he won this fair square. He didn't really cheat. The only time he thought he cheated when he was trying to grab the chair, but the ref got, got it. Mm-hmm. But he didn't cheat. He, he he did what he did. He tried to um, like I said, he tried to. He faked out his teammates. Yeah, getting Gargano to thing. But he Cole also did uh, the Gargano escape on Gargano. Mm -hmm. Tried to made him tap there. But Johnny Gargano was dressed like Captain Marvel. Yeah. Was, okay, uh, was he's a Marvel attack. fan. He always, every time you see him dressed in a paper movie, he's dressed like in some Marvel kind of thing. First was uh, Punisher one time. I don't remember the other ones. <laughs> but, yep. He, Cole, Cole ended up winning with a, I think it was the last shot or something like that. And then he's celebrating with his buddies in the ring. And then you see, um, Fish got a broken arm, so he must got hurt bad in his tag team match. Yeah, that tag team match got brutal because they started that playing Because uh, it was a ladder match. Yep. That, that was an XT takeover. What did you thought about it? Did you, What was your favorite match? I think NXT does it better than what WWE's been doing. You, you mean Raw and SmackDown? I, I prefer to that as W. I know that they're part of what the same company. But I, when I think of WWE, you think Raw and SmackDown. NXT is just the little um, fish out of water. But I refer to that as its own thing because when you actually put the superstars in Raw and SmackDown, it doesn't feel like them in NXT. It feels like they're toned down, and it's like, oh, you're big time, you're big time star, you big time stars there, but. We don't know what to do with you or your character or if people will actually give two craps about you. So we're going to put you low, low, low. I mean, look at Nikki Cross. She was uh, uh, fun and stuff on NXT. Now look at her. Well, that's... Now that's what I'm going to think what's going to happen to our War Raiders. You think War Raiders are look at Aleister Black! Yeah, They're giving Ricochet more pushes, and Aleister Black, they're holding him off. They're more giving them promo talks. Why promos? Just have him fight. That's the point of being a wrestling star. Fight, fight, What do you think fight. a lot of people was going in? AEW. I said it. Yeah. I said it. Well, let's just, uh, tell us in the comments how we could actually see any of the AEW matches. Or anything. So, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm, I mean, my favorite match was, um, Adam Cole. I would say Adam Cole and Dirty Gargano. Yeah. Alright. So that's gonna be it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>